Hi guys, we are in Morimoto, Asia. This is uh, uh, Top Chef uh, Hiroshima no Morimoto? Is that it? No. I forget his first name. We will look it up and I will put it in right here. Um, for those of you playing along, there's the QR code. I'm going to scan it myself. I have eaten here before and actually I attempted to do a dining review here back in November. Thought I filmed the entire thing, got a great meal, got some information. It was absolutely exciting and the camera had jammed, died, I lost all of the content. So we're doing a redo. This time I've got Flame who is gluten and soy free and I've got Arlene who can eat just about anything. But it's uh, technically keto. But it's technically keto at the moment. I mean, there's a lot of rice here. So we will be doing some modifications. We will be doing a lot of information. And the soy is going to be a, a concern. So we're going to talk with them. We're going to see what magic we can make happen. We hope you join along. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let's get moving into this menu. Okay, so that was an experience. Go for it. We had someone eating keto a gluten allergy, and a gluten and soy allergy, which limits what you can get here. So it was a challenge, and the, the waitress was so patient and worked really hard trying to help us figure out what to get. So after going back and forth with the chef multiple times, um, our keto eater is getting duck with sautéed vegetables. Our gluten soy eater is getting a sushi roll with the mayo. Fried rice, chicken, no, fried chicken, chicken fried rice made without the soy sauce. And then I am getting the miso soup, which they believe they can do gluten free. And I am getting the uh, the buribap, the Morimoto's buribap, which is a, their specialty dish. If all goes well, I will record it being served because it is an experience to get it. I am trying the white lily drink. She is trying the, she is trying the Maker's Mark. Manhattan. Manhattan East, which I think I got the last time, or a proximity of that, because it was a winter drink last time. And uh, we're both, Arlene and I are getting Thai iced teas. I may not sleep for a while, but I will love it, because uh -huh. it makes me happy. Thai iced tea is just one of those drinks that makes me happy. So, as things arrive, we will take pictures, we will share the experience with you. We'll see what this is like, because, yeah, we've been, we've been going a lot off menu and a lot of creative cooking tonight. Very creative cooking. We, so we're on the first floor below the jellyfish. There are tables at those windows, regular seating. And on the other side, as I slowly rotate around, that's the bar. It's called the Forbidden Lounge. Up over there, you can see, oh, let me get lower. There you go, you can see everything up there. I have eaten at that bar multiple times. Um, I've gotten that propane multiple times, I love it. So we've got lots of good food coming and lots of great company. So my uh, my miso soup has arrived. It is made gluten free. It's a lighter, more uh, chickeny looking broth. Um, obviously it's not, it's a miso, it's a clear broth. Um, so I'm putting the picture in right here. They've taken the, okay, so I don't know if you all know the story of the, the soup spoons we all use at Chinese restaurants. They're not actually the soup spoons. There the spoon rests, and Americans were not as smart and went, oh, look, spoons, and started eating with them, so it, that's what they started serving. But this is a modified version, so it really is like a soup spoon again. There are nice chunks of tofu. I see seaweed in here, and scallion, and we're gonna take a taste. Good flavor of miso in there, a lot of miso. It is lukewarm though, it is not very hot. But a nice salt flavor to it, it's tasty. Let me grab a piece of tofu here real fast. Nice firm tofu, good flavor, it's nice. Try it. Sure. It is not warm. I mean, it's not hot, but it is. It tastes okay. Is this different? It's a miso. It's a white miso. Okay. So is it? I know it's gluten free. Right. Is this the regular miso? Uh, just probably different soy sauce. They probably did different things with salt. Okay. But you still get salty flavor. They've salted it. Well. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. It's got a really nice flavor to it. 
So I'm gonna eat my soup and uh, we'll talk when more stuff comes out. All right. Maker's so, Mark specialty. Maker's Mark specialty for Mori Moto. Try this from Charlene? Sure. It's pretty. It is pretty with the orchids on top. I'm like, uh, do I look like. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you, uh, you can taste the alcohol. Right, but not all. But it's not overpowering. Yes. That was that's lovely. I yeah. would order that at another time. I would not order driving. That. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Manhattan East with the specialty Morimoto bourbon. This definitely has the citrus because there's actually a piece there. That's quite nice. I like it. Yeah, you taste the orange in there, and that's, yeah. Yeah, this is much softer now. It's a much more balanced drink. You get a lot of that orange flavor off of, there's an actual orange peel in there. And the burn that I got in the medicinalist, the medicinal flavor I got from the bourbon by itself, don't taste that at all, that's nice. I think I even like mine more though. There's something about it as a summer drink that's really bright and fresh and happy. So yeah, this is good. All right, we will talk to you when the rest of the food comes out. Okay, so we now have uh, our Thai iced teas. The pictures will go in right here. And we're gonna be able to straighten them out for a sec. 
All right, so I have mixed mine up. Very little milk, but a lot of tea, so we're gonna get a taste. I, oh. It's not super sweet, though, but I like it. I think that's because there's not as much of the uh, condensed milk. That's nice, that's very nice. This makes me happy. Ah. Isn't that nice? It's very light. It's not super sweet. Yes, I just had a sip. I will do another one for camera purposes. For posterior. They got the backlighting behind you, unfortunately. I'm... There we go. That's so good. Yeah. I think I want to marry Thai iced tea. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. We will tell your husband and he can be upset. Not a family-friendly vlog. <laughs> just saying. It hasn't been said in a while. It needs to be said. Not a family-friendly vlog. Sashimi grade yellowtail. He's taking it off the center and put it on the side. It is cooking as he stirs everything else up. Uh, for the vegetables, we have uh, pickled carrots, pickled spinach, Japanese raw corn, and uh, Japanese radish. It's a sushi rice, that's why I'm cutting it through like this, okay? So essentially, I'm making a fried rice while yellowtail is here on the side of the bowl. Morimoto won uh, Top Chef when he was still doing the Japanese Top Chef. And I see the orange chef, yes? Yep. Yes. And as it stirs, it cooks the egg. And then... I want to keep the yellow tail off the wall, so it's not going to be overcooked, okay? Yep. So they took it on the side to cook it, and then they put it back onto the dish. It's really nice. It does smell good. It's a sesame oil and a sweet rice wine that can such a nice aroma together. Right. If I would be you, I would leave it for at least 30 seconds. To Absolutely. Add the food through. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Is it okay to leave it here? For yeah, that's perfect. I'll move it later. So this is duck with stir fried veggies. Oh, look at that. That looks awesome. It really does look nice. Ready when you are. I'm a happy girl. You are a happy girl. I am a happy girl. You know how tender the chicken was earlier? Yeah, huh? The duck is that good? Oh my god. That's amazing. It's very good. And whatever sauce is on it is perfect. It's, it's savory but not too overpowering. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for you watching, this is not gluten free, but it is good. <laughs> it's keto. This but is, it the is keto, keto dish. friendly. Yes. Yeah, this is the keto dish. All right. And now we've got the gluten and soy free chicken fried rice. This is better lighting. And I am not going to use chopsticks for fried rice. Sorry. <laughs> I'll never get it to my mouth. It does have a lot of flavor. Good. You miss the soy, but you know, I I can't have soy. Um, so it's very light, which is nice. It's a very light fried rice with some chicken pieces and vegetables. It's quite tasty. Would you like to try any of the veggie veggies? Go for it. What? Broccoli. It is now time for me to have some of my booty bao. Uh, this is, I believe, actually a Korean dish. It's also known as a bibimbap normally. Um, yeah. Uh, feel the heat coming off of it. So good. So very good. We're going to take a piece of the hamachi. It might be too fishy for you fish lines, but the center stuff is amazing. Uh -huh. 
just just a great flavor all around. So I'm gonna eat more of this. I'm gonna grab. It's like hot chocolate. Very simple salt and pepper, salt sauce, white sauce on this. But a very very thick piece of broccoli. So we have finished our meal. Um, the meal won. Uh, uh, Arlene was great. She finished her veggies and duck. Uh, there is a little bit of chicken fried rice left for flame. And I have not finished either my boribap or the veggies that we shared for the table. So I have boribap and veggies for breakfast. No dessert for you either. I'm gonna have dessert if I want to have dessert. Actually, right now I am full. Um, you didn't finish your meal, you don't get dessert. Excuse me, I'm talking. <laughs> so, the Thai iced tea was lovely, the, the vodka drink was lovely. I still haven't even finished it. I think, again, dehydration over the day, you know, alcohol is just a lot. But we did pick up some cupcakes and sprinkles, uh, both the lemon blueberry and the red velvet, which are both gluten-free, and they also do a gluten-free chocolate chip cookie that's pretty exceptional. So I've got all of those waiting for me. And we had a great meal. The entire meal, all right, so you, you saw all the food we got. The entirety of the meal, do you have the full menu? 140-something. It, it was about 147. That was two alcoholic beverages, a soup, uh, vegetables for the table, which was really an entree. Two, thank you. The total total was 142.60 before tip. So uh, very reasonable, you know. For them, the, the fried rice dish and the, ch the chicken with veggies weren't the fancy dishes, so they weren't wildly expensive. Mine was the most expensive, and that boribap was 36. So yeah, so uh, exceptional meal, lovely. We are uh, gonna call it a night. We worked really hard for the last two days. We made it in, and actually during the entire time we've been in the restaurant, that's when the rain hit, so we missed the rain, which is perfect. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. Um, if the uh, if this has helped you doing uh, gluten-free dining, figuring out where you want to eat, where you want to eat, I hope this has helped. I hope it makes a difference. Please remember to like these videos if you've not already by hitting that subscribe button to follow along for future videos, uh, or the thumbs up just if you were interested in this one and you don't need to see the others. There is a dining reviews playlist on my page. You're welcome to follow that and I'll keep adding dining reviews there. Um, like subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And, and, but, um, I don't have a tagline. Singing hey ho, a maiden's life, one, two, three. Hey ho, a maiden's life, won't you drink with me?